Hi, this is Charles Miski for Seven Summits Body. A recent high-profile treadmill accident uh, led me to create this short video here to teach you a few things about treadmill safety that I think are very important. Uh, first of all, let's talk about distraction. If you're going to be watching TV or reading a book or something, you want it to be within the range of view that would normally be in the console area. You don't want to be looking up towards the ceiling where your peripheral vision doesn't allow you to see the console or your feet. If you put it right here in the console area or just above the console, you can still see down towards your feet, towards the belt in the console area with your peripheral vision. And that's very important. Uh, another thing is if you're going to be wearing any kind of earphones or headphones, I highly recommend something like this Bluetooth headset so that you don't have any wires uh, lurking about in the area you know where you might trip on them hook on them hook them on uh, the handlebar or something that could be dangerous uh, another important safety feature that every treadmill is going to have is going to be a little magnetic clip like this that hooks on your belt or in the waistband of your pants and then clips onto the treadmill itself and if by some chance you go too far off the back it unplugs and disconnects the treadmill so that the belt stops moving that way if you do fall down it, the belt's going to stop moving in a second or so and cause a lot less damage than if you're laying there trying to get up while the belt's moving. Also to increase your safety, I highly recommend cycling gloves. Especially if they have a siliconized rubber palm. That way, if you have to grab the handles, even if your hands are soaking wet from sweat, even if your gloves are wet from that sweat, they will still stick to the handles on the treadmill. Uh, you want to check it out, make sure that they will work and that you do have good friction on the handles. It'll help you uh, for several things. One is getting on and off and stabilizing and balancing while you're actually running on the treadmill, which is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to show you uh, how to get on and off the treadmill while the belt is moving in a more safe manner. Of course, seriously, you got to practice this at a lower speed. Don't just get on there, set it to 12 miles an hour and go flying off the back. You don't want to do that. Practice it at a low speed, two, three, four miles an hour first until you become proficient at getting on and off the treadmill and can do it at any speed. Especially if you're going to try uh, something insane like Tabatas on a treadmill, uh, you totally have to be skilled at getting on and off the treadmill with a moving belt. Be sure that your feet clear the belt. If it's touching the belt, you'll get some noise. And if you put weight on it, it'll jerk, okay? So the idea then to get back on, lighten your load, lift up, and then set your feet down gently. This is at three miles an hour. Now it's six miles an hour. Lift up with your hands and set your feet on gently until you come up to speed and then lower your weight onto your feet. And it's the reverse process to get off. So let's watch this in slow motion at three miles an hour getting off of the belt with your weight supported totally on your hands. You want to be sure not to try to stop the belt with your feet. Just like this, see how it jerks my foot to the back? And that can actually throw you off the treadmill. It's very dangerous, be careful. And now getting back onto the belt at three miles an hour, my weight supported on my hands, and then I lower onto my feet until my weight is completely on my feet and the belt. Now we'll try that at six miles an hour. Getting under the belt is a little more complicated. You have to start running with your weight supported on your hands, and then as your feet come up to speed and you feel confident, lower your weight down onto your feet and lift your hands in a running posture. For getting off, it's the same thing. Take all the weight on your hands and step your feet to the side 
you have to be able to see the belt to keep your feet to the side. When you're done, undo the waist clip and turn the treadmill off. Put it in the cup holder for the next use. I hope that this short, brief introduction to treadmill safety gives you enough tools, enough thinking that you can protect yourself on the treadmill and avoid any undue accidents or injuries and help you have a great time training inside. Just for information's sake, I get about 300 miles a year on the treadmill inside and about 1,200 miles a year outside. I train on an average about 25 to 35 miles a week, we'll say 30 miles a week. Uh, so 10 weeks of indoor training in a year is 300 miles. Getting the other 40 weeks a year is about 1,200 miles. Uh, you get a lot of on and off the treadmill. You learn a lot. I've seen a lot of crazy stuff in the gym. And uh, seriously, stay aware, stay alert. Be sure you do not circumvent that safety switch and be safe.